Hi, this is Computer Science and I'm Mr. Smith. So, I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, robot for the paintball. There's a couple of things that we need to do. I thought it'd be quicker to show you as a video. Um, first thing you've got to do is obviously click on the Gears Bot link, which will take you to this page. Then select Simulator across the top, which should then take you here. And we need to first of all change our world. So we're just going to go ahead and click on World. And we are going to select the Paintball Challenges. Now just to get us started, we're going to use this firing range. And we will leave it... Um, yeah, just as it is. Okay. So we're going to just click OK. So now we have a range. The problem is our robot um, won't fire anything because there's no paintball cannon. So that's the next thing that we need to change. So we just go and click robot at the top and select robot. And from our drop down list, we have a paintball. And here we go. So a couple of things that we need to know. This simulates a spring loaded paintball launcher. Okay, to operate the launcher, you first got to run the motor in reverse. So there is a motor, which is the paintball launcher here. And we're going to make that, which is on port E, run backwards. That kind of pulls the spring back. Um, the more we run it backwards, the further the spring gets pulled backwards, in which case the more powerful um, the paintball will actually be. It will go further for us. Okay, and then to fire, what we do is we just make this motor go forwards. And as long as it goes forwards, it doesn't matter by what, but at 100% it will fire the paintball. Alright, um, the other thing that you need to know about this is it's got a little arm on here, which is what makes the paintball. It changes the angle of the paintball. Alright, um, so we've got a motorized arm and that's on port D, so we'll need to run that for a little bit just to alter the angle otherwise it fires out straight so once we select our robot we click OK next thing we need to do is now program our robot so we can see that it has actually changed look there we go there's our robot and this is the cannon that we need to be able to change so we're going to go to blocks and the first thing that we're going to do so we've got when started is we're going to tilt the cannon a little bit all right, and that's our motor. So uh, let's go on this one. And the motor was on port D. I'm just gonna run it at 20%. I'm gonna run it for, say, one rotation. Let's see what happens. Whoa, okay, so that's not gonna be very helpful because it's only gonna fire up in a straight line. So we obviously need to run this at less than one. So let's go for 0.5, and let's see how that does. Resets. Yeah, it still does the same. Let's go for 0.1, and resets. There we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of an angle, and that is now gonna fire. So what we ne next job is we need to pull the spring back, which we can't see. Remember, this is virtual. We're gonna pull an imaginary spring or a virtual spring backwards in order to fire the paintball. So if we run the motor, and if you remember, the motor is on port E. Um, now, I guess I can do it at 20%. Let's have a look. Let's go for three rotations. And then after that, I need to run this motor forwards. So what I can do, look, is just duplicate that block. And I said I need to pull it backwards, didn't I? So that's going to be minus three, because that's going to make the motor run backwards. And then I'm just going to make it run forwards. And I'm going to make it run at 100%. Let's have a look, see what happens. Oop, zoom out a little bit just to see how far it goes. Reset and play. Did anything happen? Let's move around. Oh, something did happen. Look, it fired all the way down to the end there. So if we <laughs> zoom in on this, and if I can just change my follow mode arc going on let's see there it is look it's down at four meters we zoom out 
Wow, that fired it a long way. So in our blocks, what I could do is if I said minus two on rotations, and we go to the simulator. Now remember it, go all the way over here. Let's see what happens. Do anything? Yep, there we go. Okay, so it took it to just over two meters. All right, so this is what you've got to do. You need to create blocks of code to hit the paintball at each meter mark. So at one meters, two meters, three meters, four meters, and I believe it is five meters all the way over here. Okay, so write some code that fires five paintballs, one after the other, and they should hit each mark. Okay, I'll leave that page there so you can have a look at my code and then all you've got to do is just add some more code to it. Alright, good luck with that.